me to edit the video the video clips my sister sent to me. <laughs> I thought my sister what to do. I told him how to film so that I could share. Because it's, it's, it's just... <sighs> Look at this girl, she's too young. For well, I honestly do not know what to say, but my heart is absolutely broken. You know, if I was in Nigeria, I was supposed to be present at this very wedding and traditional marriage. My mom's first granddaughter. She, the wedding was fixed for the 29th, and that was when the wedding was held, wedding and traditional marriage. Every of my seed and their children, they all traveled for this wedding. In fact, I actually asked my younger sister, Augusta, to give me some clips. I even told her how to do it because I intended sharing the videos on my on my YouTube channel. Yes, of which she sent me some videos yesterday. I was looking at this morning to see what videos I'll be, what pictures I will be posting on Facebook for my niece's um, wedding, you know. And Yesterday, I called her phone all through because I wanted to send her some money, just like my husband sent some money for me to give to Oge. Oge is my niece's name. Yes. She's about 27 years old. And every one of us were just happy. I was also asking, when I saw the photos yesterday and the videos, I said, why is the husband, why was the husband not smiling? He wasn't laughing in any of the videos. He wasn't dancing. He, what? What? I was like, what exactly was going on? And they started telling me one super story. Um, the husband. <sighs> the husband is in Nigeria army. You know, firstly, when they were about to start this relationship, or when he proposed to my 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 niece, that was last two years. My auntie, our Danne. I'm talking about the daughter to our Danne, the daughter to my mom's first daughter. Yes, my mom's first granddaughter. Our Danne was like, no, that the daughter cannot marry a Nigerian army or soldier. I don't know what. Because even me too, me and my husband, we discussed that. I was like, huh, how can she be dating a, a soldier? You know, that kind of a thing. And you know the situation of the, the working situation of the armies in Nigeria going to Zambia. He was actually, was actually serving in the northern part of Nigeria. So we were scared. That, that, that was actually the fear of my aunt. But look at what happened. So this man came back from where he was serving on the 22nd of December. The parents are staying in Omaha here and they are from Abia State. They live in Omaha Township. So she, he went to the parents. He was like he was going to go to their village in other state. They said the mom said no, don't go. Look at what he saw, what she saw, the vision she had. But the guy refused and traveled to her to his village. But the guy refused and traveled to their village. They said he went there. He bought drinks for his friends. They were drinking. And from one occasion he left to the next one. At the second occasion he attended, he shouted, he stormed you. From there they rushed him to the hospital. They did all the scan. They saw nothing. He came back, he was still complaining of his stomach, itching and hurting, biting him. He was supposed to come do the um, marriage rites, that's the traditional marriage rites, on the 26th. They said he couldn't make it. Then on the 29th, he managed to travel to Nsuka because my Adane, we are from Imo State, but my Adane is married to an Nsuka man, though the husband is slept. May he still rest in peace. Amen. So, this is our in law to be travel to Nsuka on the 28th because the traditional marriage and wedding was to be held on the 29th. That was two days ago. So, 29th morning, they said he managed to like walk or stand or do anything. So, that was the reason he was not dancing not smiling in the photos 
but he has to attend the wedding. Being that he loved my niece, they say the love. Oh my goodness! They say the love was like if you had to measure it, the love was like hundred against sixty. That he loved everything about my niece. They contracted the marriage. I was already sorting out the photos to upload this morning. You know, I was like, let me try Oge's number again. I just tried Oge Chuku's number, my niece. I said, Oge, I was calling you all through yesterday. You didn't pick. So what happened? He said, Auntie, oh. she busted into tears. <laughs> Oge busted into tears. <laughs> that she was on her way to the mortuary with the husband. Hey, God of mercy. Come. <laughs> Am I laughing? <laughs> This girl is just 27. This girl is just 27. Anybody that did this, anybody that did this, anybody that did this, oh God, I cannot cause because I don't have the power to cause anyone. Anybody that has caused my family this year, this particular new year that we're about to enter, today is the 31st. You made us to end this year a tears. All the celebration we had, if I was in Nigeria, I was supposed to be there. <laughs> Sometimes, sorry, I'm doing this before you. I'm just trying to control my tears because something is here looking at me. <sighs> I've cried enough this morning. I've cried enough. This man died last night. Somebody that wedded on the 29th. Yesterday was 30th. Oge rang us, my niece, that we should be praying, rang my family members that they should be praying for the husband. Because they went back to Adia State to Umahia after the marriage. They were like, they wanted to train the man at Nsuka. But his family members said no, that whatever that happened to their brother, especially they, they said the, the man's sister was like, the brother came to Nsuka with his two legs, that whatever that happens to the guy, Nsuka people, should bear the consequences. But thank God, the mommy in law is an honest woman. She is just our luck currently. Because she was testifying that whatever that is, whatever that has happened to the son, to her son, is not from Nsoka or wasn't from Nsoka. That it started in Abia State. The son was fine when he came back from his place of service on the 22nd. That if the son had listened to him, to her, that if the son had listened to her, her advice of him not going to their village in Abia State, what happened to him wouldn't have happened. And this woman was like, Ogechi is free to walk away after this guy is buried. That Ogechi is innocent. And so people that they are innocent. That's what the moment in law said. You can imagine that. What well, this young girl, she's about 27. I was selecting the photos to post on Facebook. Congratulatory photos that I should use and say congratulations. My niece, our mother's first granddaughter just wedded. Thank <laughs> <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> My heart is broken to the brink. <laughs> Sometimes I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do this before you. You see, we were supposed to be happy and be celebrating. <laughs> I was selecting photos that I was going to share on Facebook. <laughs> I was going to edit the video, the video clips my sister sent to me. <laughs> I told my sister what to do. I told him how to film so that I could share. Because it's, it's, it's just... <sighs> Look at this girl. She's too young for this. She's too young for this. She was just crying and saying, Auntie, she... 
and then she she can't say anything that she doesn't know what happened that the husband is right in the car in the ambulance with her that they're going to the mortuary i was like what about my adande what about your mom he said the mom came down from Osaka this morning that she that she's in the car behind all of them are going to the mortuary to deposit the man he just did traditional marriage with they did the wedding that was just two days ago everybody in fact my sisters are still at Osaka. yesterday i told irene emmanuel i was like i was supposed to be present at the wedding at Osaka in one of the videos she made about Osaka. if i was in nigeria <sighs> and look at us look at us the girl now will have people will be like is it this one that went to marry a day two days after the marriage the husband died but thank god that the mommy in law is an honest person May God bless her for speaking the truth. Even when the sister was like, when the sister-in-law was saying trash at Asuka, the mommy-in-law testified that, okay, it's innocent people from Asuka, that whatever that happened to her son did not start at Asuka, that it started from Abia State. Why do people in the East, people in the village, why do they want people to stop coming down to the East? I have my brothers, my two brothers, they married to white. One of them married to a Russian lady, the other one, German. My, my immediate elder brother married to a Chinese lady. Yesterday, all of them, they were calling in, congratulating Ogi in our family chat. These foreign ladies. And hearing all these things, or waking up to this news this morning, how would they feel? How would they feel? They wouldn't want to come back to Nigeria. Even my brothers, we've been begging them to come home. We've been begging them. They say, in that village that you will go, you wouldn't survive it. You wouldn't come out alive. This is just the things that are sending young men and young women away. When they travel, they wouldn't come back. They would choose to remain in the Western world, in the cities. This person that poisoned his friend, they said it was his close friend that did this. They said it was his close, close friend. This person that poisoned this guy, what will he gain from this? What is he going to gain? What is the need of all these things? Why do you kill another person? Why on earth? You cut the happiness short. My prayer is that a person repents. I cannot curse. I cannot use my mouth and curse anybody. I'm, 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 I'm careful when it comes to that. And I kept avoiding saying things like that. I have a video that I've uploaded already, but I'm not sharing it. Maybe tomorrow I'll make it public. Because I want to end this year with this kind of thing now. I don't want to start talking about these things next year. But I'm sorry for doing this before you. It's just the situation. 